Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap Team. I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser Bronzer. But if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the video. This is brand new from Laura Mercier and it appeared as if out of nowhere. I was very excited to see it in Space NK, although I was not excited to not be able to get my shade in store. It was the only shade they didn't have in store, but luckily they did have it online and I do have their next day delivery, so I just got it there, but wasn't best pleased about that. I swatched shades five and six on me and they will be in my upcoming vlog. I have the tinted moisturiser blush in the shade Sun Drenched and it is one of my favourite liquid blushes. It's quite a light shade, but it just works really well on top of a cream bronzer. This is a cream, well, a liquid bronzer uh, from Laura Mercier. So I presume it is very much the same idea, the same family. It comes in six shades. They are sunshine sun drop sunbeam sunlight sunstone and sun spell sun spell was number six which is the shade i got sunstone is number five which is the shade i also tried in store really liked sunstone definitely seemed way too light for me it seemed like it wasn't quite my skin tone it was in the same region of my skin tone but it was a very odd undertone it felt a bit more like tan orange than a bronzer for me. Sunspell seems quite rich and deep. Definitely feels like it's going to be on the Charlotte Tilbury 4 cream bronzer, that kind of dark, almost contour slash kind of a contour bronzer. But I was intrigued by it because of the formulation and because I really, really liked the tinted moisturizer blush. It is £27.30 US dollars, so not that bad at all. Uh, in terms of size, it is 15 mils and 0.5 fluid ounces. Not the hugest product, that's about a, an eye cream size, so quite um, mini, I guess, but I think it's the same as the tinted moisturizer blush which I have had for about six months and is still going strong so and I do use that pretty much every day and you only need a very small amount so I think it should be okay I'm gonna just read you guys the blurb it says give the skin a sun-kissed look with the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer bronzer a cream bronzer that also helps hydrate and condition the skin combining bronzing makeup with a tinted moisturizer this nourishing cream works to deliver a natural look. Infused with six individually tailored bronze pearl blends, it helps bring a sunny warmth to the complexion. Mistake-proof application, works without being streaky orange or drying, non-comedogenic, ideal for all skin types and tones, 12-hour hydration, uniquely tailored pearl blends for custom coverage. So I'm excited about it. I'm a bit disappointed that it isn't as new as I thought it was. I think I just, because it's new to Space NK, I got, I got, duped. Just gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you guys the packaging, show you some swatches, and then I'm gonna get into a demo.
So this, the swatch is on. It actually is very rich. I do remember it being very rich anyway, but it is probably the deepest thing I have next to the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Chestnut and also the NARS in number five. The NARS in number five is a slightly more neutral undertone. This has a bit more warmth to it, a bit of more rosiness to it. And sitting next to the Glossier uh, Vault, uh, it, even though it's nowhere near as like rosy and like burgundy as that is, you can see the redness in it a little bit more sitting next to something like the Glossier, uh, whereas the others don't have as much of a rosiness to it, apart from perhaps the Say, which is quite a nice rosy-ish deep bronze um, and the Charlotte Tilbury 310 is much lighter but that is one of my lighter bronzers um so it looks cool looks interesting it looks very rich I like the packaging it's kind of like a brownish rose gold it's very chill very sleek it's got a nice small nozzle to try and kind of help reduce the amount I take out as much as possible um so I like the look of it I'm intrigued to be trying it I've got just uh, a base on so I've only got the uh the MAC strobe dewy skin strobe dewy skin tint on but apart from that there's nothing else on my cheek so I'm excited to be trying this out I'm gonna do what it says and I'm just gonna dab a very small amount on my back of my hand that's Martin at the back there having a nice nap It's quite subtle, but it definitely does feel like it's done something, especially when I compare it to this side of my face, which always looks like it's got bronzer on, even though it really doesn't have anything on it. Um, I feel like I can see a little bit of color difference. definitely as very neutral in its undertone it feels much more like a contour than a kind of warming blowy bronzer uh, which is a shame but could be good for some things so I'm going to use the other side pop a bit more on the other side and then I'm going to lay it some blush on top of it look very natural on it it is pretty seamless which I do like you can't really see where you've applied it too much which is really nice it does blend in very well to the skin I'm gonna put a little bit on the bridge of my nose just to see if it does anything I'm gonna lay a tiny bit more on this side just to see if that changes anything. But it is quite easy to control, I think even more than my blusher because the blusher sometimes I get big droplets coming out, but this feels a bit easier. And I quite like it feathered out like this. I don't know if it's as precise as that side, but it does feel quite a bit more bronzy. the tinted moisturizer blush and there is more product it's just at the top because it was lying down um so i'm gonna pop a little bit of the sun kissed on one of my absolute favorite Let's see so much more comes out of the blusher i don't know why but
okay guys so that is the liquid bronzer on with a little bit of liquid blush both from the same family both in the same tinted moisturizer uh family from laura mercy i actually really like them together they work very well i don't know if the bronzer is really doing enough to really justify its existence on my face or in my collection i think it's nice i just don't think it's doing like huge amounts it's very seamless it's very effortless for the most part and i do like that it doesn't feel like i have anything on but also it doesn't feel like i have anything on so it makes me wonder if i need to have it on at all uh, but i do think it works really well with the uh blush and i do think it works nicely on my face and i I will keep using it and see if it's something I enjoy and reach for more. Uh, the Tinted Moisturiser Blush is something when I first tried, I didn't really like, I wasn't bowled over by it, I thought it was nice, but it wasn't until I paired it with the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer that I really, really, really liked it and I wore it like every day. So this might be something that I just need to find its perfect partner for and then it might be something I really enjoy. But I do like it, I think it's nice. I don't know if it's something you have to rush out to go and buy. I'm not getting the feels in the same way I did when I tried the even the Glossier bronzer or the Say. I'm going to give you guys a quick close up. I'm going to pop on a bit of my favourite bronzer of the moment, uh, the Pat McGrath bronzer in the shade Burnished Honey. I've been really enjoying this. Also, I broke my Charlotte Tilbury one, which I love so much. So guys, that is the bronzer on. I really like it underneath. I really like it underneath the powder bronzer and that may be a way I will really enjoy wearing this. On its own, it's very subtle. I liked it quite precise. When I kind of diffuse it out a bit more and it was a bit more sporadic with my application, it does look a bit more obvious that it's there, but it can be very subtle if you are quite conscious of how you apply it. It does work well with the blusher, uh, but I don't think it works any better with the blusher than some of my other cream bronzers like the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, or the say i do really like it i don't think i love it as much as i love the chanel or the say or even the charlotte tilbury um but i do think it's nice is it something you desperately have to run out and get i don't think so uh but i will keep trying it uh, sometimes i do change my mind i remember thinking this about the tinted moisturizer blush i thought it was okay but i literally use it every day i really really enjoy it uh, and it's one of my favorite products so it might be a slow grower it might be something that I just keep reaching for over and over again. You just never know. Uh, so far, it's okay. Uh, potentially, could be great. Who knows? But I will keep trying it. I will let you guys know. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below, guys. Will you be buying it? Will you be trying it? Do you have it? Do you have it in any other shades? What do you think of it? Uh, if you do, and are you intrigued by it? If you don't, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.